Fernando Amorsolo, the most beloved of all Philippine artists, is known for his sunlit and affectionate portrayals of Philippine life and culture. Born in 1892, when Amorsolo was seven months old, his father moved the family to a small town where he developed his love for the simple rural life. After the death of his father, when he was 11, the family returned to Manila. There, Fabian de la Rosa, first cousin to Amorsolo's mother and a prominent Philippine painter, became a mentor to the young, aspiring artist. He was then sponsored by a wealthy patron to study in Europe, where he refined his skills. Fernando Amorsolo studied at the Academia de San Fernando in Madrid. While there, he discovered the works of Spanish luminist Joaquin Soroya y Bastida and the great Baroque master Diego Velázquez, who became the artist he most greatly admired and emulated. Amorsolo soon became known as the painter of Philippine sunlight because his luminous canvases captured his country's bright sunshine. Some of his best-known paintings depict traditional Filipino customs and culture, including fiestas, daily life, rice harvesting, and mango picking. His works present an idealized view of Philippine life and customs that are filled with sentiment and optimism. He also painted beautiful images of Philippine women, both nude and clothed, that are full of affection and gentle eroticism. His paintings of older people show his frank understanding of their simple wisdom and character. Amorsolo actually taught at the University of the Philippines and served as the director of the school's art department between 1938 and 1952. After the 1931 death of his first wife, with whom he had six children, he remarried and fathered eight more children. In total, five of his children also became painters. During the difficult years of the Japanese occupation, during which his brother Pablo was executed, Amorsolo made paintings that documented the grim realities of war. Over the span of his long life, Amorsolo eventually created over 10,000 works of art. His craftsmanship was extraordinary, especially considering how fast he was capable of working. In old age, even as his health deteriorated due to diabetes, cataracts and arthritis, he continued to produce a substantial volume of works, in part to support his large family. After his death, Amorsola was made the first national painter of the Philippines. <laughs>